Hi friends, I'm so glad to see you all again. We have a very special story for you today, but before we get started, I have a question. Who has a plan for you? That's right, God has a plan for you. Whenever I ask the question, who has a plan for you? I want you to say, God has a plan for me. So, who has a plan for you? That's right, God has a plan for you and for me and for everybody. Good job, friends. We have a very special story today, but before we get started, we have to learn our memory verse, and it comes from Jeremiah 29, 11, and it goes like this. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Can you say that with me, friends? For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Let's do it one more time together. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Great job, friends. Friends, if you remember, for the last two weeks, we've been learning about a man named Joseph. And now, he had just been thrown into jail after doing something that he didn't do. Now, was Joseph sad? Yes. But he also knew that he could trust in God's plan no matter what. So, Joseph was still in jail, even though he had done nothing wrong. Being in jail was hard for Joseph, but God had a different plan. One day, all king of Egypt, Pharaoh, had some dreams that he didn't understand. They were about seven cows. Yep, cows. And what did cows say? That's right, cows say moo. And now dreaming about cows is kind of funny. So Pharaoh dreamed about cows, then he also had another dream about stalks of grain. And that's really strange. Uh, we make bread out of grain. And Pharaoh was confused by why he was having these dreams. He wanted to know what his dreams meant. So he asked Joseph to help him understand what his dreams meant. So he brought Joseph out of jail, and he brought him straight to the Pharaoh, and Joseph told the Pharaoh what the dreams were from God and what they meant. Those dreams meant that Pharaoh needed to save lots and lots of grain because his people were going to be hungry and need it later. Pharaoh was so happy to know what his dreams meant that he gave Joseph a very special job. He put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Years later, the dreams became true. People were hungry and they didn't have food. So they traveled all over to Egypt to get the grain from Joseph. God's plan was to help all these people. What an amazing plan. And God has a plan for us too. So, who has a plan for you? That's right, God has a plan for you, and for me, and for everybody. Great job, friends. That was such a great story. Before we go, let's bow our heads and pray. Open them, close them, open them, close them. Give a little clap. Open them, close them, open them, close them. Fold them in your lap. God, Thank you for being awesome, amazing, and having wonderful plans for all of us. You have good things for us to do. Help us follow your plan. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job, friends. That was such an amazing story. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.